with respect to ongoing Army programs. In the fiscal year 20, the NDAA and the appropriations both include $28 million in advanced procurement for the Chinook Block II long lead items. Now we've learned that despite congressional direction, the Army has put these funds on hold pending a decision from Army leadership. I'm interested to hear details on the Army strategy, how to preserve the heavy lift industrial base. Uh, Dr. Jetty, our Chinook, uh, we put in there last year the idea of uh, the advanced procurement. As we understand it, uh, that's still in the same position as we put it a year ago. That's the first question. The second one is minimum sustaining rates, whether it's 24, 18. The answer a year ago was we needed a robust program that more speed for the future, more weight. Uh, when we look at the program, the way that we're hearing you say it, that foreign mil military sales is going to bring up that minimum sustaining rate. Right now, I think there's only one that has been signed and one potentially. First, give us an update on foreign military sales that can feed the beast, shall we say, of keeping that line running. Uh, and then I have a follow up. Yes, sir. Um, so on the, on the, I'll start with the foreign military sales. Um, on the foreign military sales, we uh, are able to maintain the minimum sustaining rate. So we've worked with Boeing on the minimum sustaining rate, and the one defined that we both agreed to. Uh, is how many? PO. How Eight, many? 18. Okay. And 18 is, is uh, one shift a day, eight hour day, five days a week yep. uh, uh, throughout the year. Um, the minimum sustaining rate is 18. We have uh, orders in place for uh, uh, out to 25. We believe we're, we're at those minimum sustaining rates. Um, really? We have uh, moved some, uh, some of our ORF uh, deliveries just to the right, which lets us make sure that we fill in some of the gaps. We have a LOA uh, waiting signature with the UK. We're, we're pretty confident that that'll uh, follow through. They're going through their uh, current uh, budget works as well. We expect that by October. Uh, that's, that's very promising. Uh, the, we also have visibility on direct, uh, direct commercial sales. So that s sometimes what happens is we make our counts based purely on the number that are being produced for foreign military sales, which are separate from direct commercial sales. Right. Some countries do direct commercial sales. Some countries want to go through the foreign military sales and, and leverage some of the training and things that you can get, sustainment that you get through the, through the D, uh, FMS. Uh, so the Netherlands has on contract uh, through direct commercial sales six, uh, six new builds uh, for block ones, uh, delivery in 21. We have uh, Singapore is on contract for direct commercial sales. Uh, for eight uh, new bills as well. And we've, we've laid these out with respect to the uh, profiles. Uh, well, in the interest of time, we'll get the actual numbers, but they're going to meet the minimum sustaining rate. Yes, sir. Out to 25 is where we think we're. Okay.